Hello, I'm Emoji Nightmare, and I'm so excited to be the season 14 RuPaul's Drag Race correspondent for Ask Amber Live. Season 14, and RuPaul has never been busier. She's got so many episodes, so many seasons this year, and we are just getting started. This season is so big that they've split the premiere into two different episodes, so we see seven queens this week and seven new queens next week. Very exciting times. As the queens enter the workroom, some standouts to me were Alyssa Hunter, of course. She's gorgeous. I also love that she introduced herself. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm from Puerto Rico. If you've ever met anyone from Puerto Rico, they have such strong pride in their... Where, what do you, what's not a country, is it? What's Puerto Rico? U.S. territory. A territory, they have pride in their territory. They have pride. Cornbread, the snack jeté, definitely one to watch. Maybe my favorite. I actually polled everyone too to see who they were looking forward to this season. And I got some great responses on Instagram. Follow me at, at the Emoji Nightmare to uh, take part in my polls that I'll be putting out every week. Willow Pill was another standout for the outfit that was, it was just so interesting. So, you know, she was wearing uh, platform sandals and, and I think maybe the best part was her tank top that said, Angle, loved that. Props to Willow Pill though for actually getting three names in the first episode. She's not only Willow Pill, but Alyssa Hunter called her Willow Pillow and RuPaul, of course. Said she's not a big pill, she's a will pill. Carrie Colby and that gorgeous face of hers uh, walked in serving, you know, trans pride flag eleganza. Gotta love it. And uh, I will say that we had a little bit of debate, my friends and I, afterwards about just how much work she's had done and uh, the, ele the, the extremes of, of plastic surgery. And, and that one for me is right in the sweet spot, giving me that Gwen Stefani kind of look. June Jamalaya introduced herself and her art and used a new word called clatchet. I had not heard that one. Um, and I would say it kind of fits for her. Soon the queens learn that Lizzo is the guest judge. Cornbread loses it. Cornbread also shares a really interesting story about how she was once exercised of demons from a bigoted pastor and she ended up farting on him. So basically Cornbread's the best. The queens learn that the main challenge for the episode is to perform in the CNTs, which is a talent show. And we kind of learn what some of the queens are gonna do. We learn that Carrie Colby uh, basically jump roping saved their life. That's interesting. Uh, we learn that Willow Pill is gonna do sort of some like self care act, which, you know, we're just kind of thinking, that's a talent, huh? Interesting, we'll see how this pans out. We open with RuPaul actually performing a very rare, uh, rare thing, but RuPaul does have an album that just dropped uh, the same day as the premiere, so the girl knows her marketing. Uh, and so yeah, she performed her new single, Catwalk. I will say Bosco is just so pretty no matter what she does. I don't even know, remember what her talent was, but she's pretty and that's what stood out to me. Cornbread's performance was amazing, an original song that was so hilarious. And even though some of the judges said they couldn't quite understand the lyrics, it didn't matter because she, her props were amazing. She had a chicken wing necklace. She had a missing person milk jug with Merle Ginsburg from season one and two. Merle Ginsburg's face on it, hilarious. Orion's story was another one that was Quite interesting, but not necessarily for the level, level of talent, but kind of for like the what in the hell is she doing? And while that really worked for Willow Pill's performance, which involved spaghetti, a toaster, and a bathtub, uh, Orion's story is just sort of fell flat. In the end, it was winner winner chicken necklace for Cornbread, who was the winner of this week's challenge. The bottom three was Alyssa Hunter, Orion Story, and June Jambalaya, which means that the safe queens were Bosco, Willow Pill, and Carrie Colby this week. Ultimately, Alyssa Hunter is considered safe, and the two queens that are lip syncing are June Jambalaya and Orion Story. They perform the amazing Lizzo track, Water Me, and ultimately it's Orion's story who is sent home. 
What did you all think? I wanna know. What, did the right queen go home? Make sure to follow me at Emoji Nightmare on all socials. I'm most active on Instagram these days. So uh, look at my stories, usually on Thursdays or Fridays, and I'll be having those. So you can weigh in and let me know kind of what you're feeling, and you might be featured on the show. I want to again thank Amber LeMay for having me, and I'll see you next week.